So today uh, I wanted to to talk a little bit about one part of my my business model. Hey Jess, hey Lori. Um, I want to talk about a little bit about one piece of my business model and a little bit about the story behind it and you know um, how making some changes in my business model and being open to having uh, some these different changes uh, in my business model has finally allowed me to hit my income goals that I've been after for a long time without creating this business that I resent. And in fact, you guys know, because I've told you so many times that my business has really I exploded this year and this has been a huge piece of it. Okay, so specifically, I wanna be talking today about adding in some income streams that are passive-ish, you know, passive-ish in income, um, in potential, right? Nothing is completely passive uh, or hands off, but more passive ish, right? It's specifically been a game changer for me. So I'm referring to affiliate marketing today. Good morning, Cindy. Hey, Kim. Oh, thank you, Rosie. That's so sweet. <laughs> hey, Amanda. Oh, Houston, Texas. I'm from Houston. I'm just outside of Houston, Texas as well. I'm in Magnolia. So cool. <laughs> okay. So I'm referring to affiliate marketing and what I mean by affiliate marketing. When I say affiliate marketing, I'm, I'm actually also including things like network marketing. I know a lot of us are doing network marketing. A lot of us are doing, uh, have, um, we've got all kinds of different businesses, but when I say affiliate marketing, just in my opinion, um, I am including the whole umbrella when you are selling someone else's product or service, like, you know, you get a piece, like you get a commission, right? And they get a piece, like the company, right? So they've built the brand, they've developed the product, they deal with the customer service, all that, but you get a commission when you sell it on their behalf. So that's what I mean when I'm talking about affiliate marketing today. Oh, wow, the Woodlands, you're really close to me. Hey, Dina, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Layla is also from... Um, Magnolia. So we're really close here. I mean, we can have a get, get together. Okay. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Like when I say affiliate marketing, that's what I mean, right? Okay. So if you go back a couple of years, so even just, even a, just one year. So I've been at this entrepreneur thing for a few years now, but even just a year ago, like I was the struggling entrepreneur. <laughs> uh, raise your hand. You can admit it if you're, if you've ever been a struggling entrepreneur, or maybe you're struggling right now. Okay. I know a lot of us are in, are in that boat when it, it we're in a scary time where we are struggling a little bit, right? So here I was, um, you know, it's so funny to think about it. It's kind of almost embarrassing to tell this story because, you know, hindsight's 2020, right? We all get that. But here I was when I first left my corporate job and um, I was struggling as a blogger. I don't know if we've got some bloggers on today um, or, or anyone. I mean, you're going to probably identify with this, but here I was, right? I was struggling as a blogger and I had a few affiliate links in my blogs, you know, um, you know, cause I read the, I read the, the, the blogs out there about how to blog, right? So I had some affiliate links, um, sprinkled in there, but I wasn't an affiliate marketer, right? I was a blogger <laughs> and you know, it, it, it's embarrassing for me to, to admit it now, but like, I was like, I wouldn't want to identify as an affiliate marketer, right? I was a blogger. I was better than that. So if you've ever felt that way, you, it's okay to come clean. Uh, I'm not proud of it, right? But um, it was, it's been like this whole mindset set shift for me, right? And then finally, after trying the blog thing for like a year and failing big time, right? I was giving up on my, my, um, my blogging dream because I think I made like 10 cents through my blog. I'm not kidding, like 10 cents. But I decided to go into coaching, okay? Because that was something else that came up for me. I was like, oh, I can go do coaching, right? Um, and I learned a lot. Uh, I learned a lot. I made some money. Uh, I spent a ton of money. <laughs> and last year, I think I've told this story before, but last summer, early last summer, I joined this high ticket mastermind. And I paid a ton of money. I hired this high-end business coach. We were in this mastermind together. And doing so like I actually filled my my coaching business last summer like August of last summer so almost a year ago and I was hitting my income goals for the first time but I hated it <laughs> I hated it and I was working my hiney off and it was non-stop and I started dreading getting on my client calls um I, you know I was working with people who weren't a great fit or they weren't motivated or maybe they were but they weren't getting results and it was it was like, it was horrible. And then there was the other side, which I was like constantly on the hunt 
for new clients. Like I was worrying like where my next client was going to come from. I didn't know. Like, and I was launching things and launching things and doing webinars and ads and it was exhausting. It was absolutely exhausting. And the second that I would take my foot off the gas, like everything was gone. Like everything was gone. All my clients were gone. Um, you know, I had to be on the move all the time. And then it was December. And I remember this <laughs> because I just, I realized that it was December and they were all gone anyways. It didn't matter what I did. All my clients were gone in December because who hires a business coach over the holidays? Nobody, right? Or when the kids get off of school for summer, who's hiring a business coach? Nobody, right? There was zero passive income potential there. Like there wasn't even breathing room in my business. It was, it was horrible, right? Hey, Faye. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Suzanne. Hey, Darlene. Layla says the struggle is real. It really is, right? So at about that time is when I got into my first um, network marketing company, right? And, you know, at that time I was kind of ashamed of it, right? Um, even after I started bringing in some money, I was kind of ashamed of it, right? And I'm like, I'm not a network marketer. I'm not an affiliate marketer. I'm a coach, right? And I struggled. <laughs> I struggled. And fast forward. So then that, that was like December of last year. And then um, February of this year, February of this year, I went through the one funnel away challenge for the first time and something shifted. I still, I still can't really put my, my finger on it, but like something big happened. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it. Um, it was like my eyes were opened and I was like, what, what have I been hung up on this whole time? Like, why am I, why was I being so silly? Right. And that's when my business has taken off since February of this year. And it like, there's just, it's almost like mind blowing. Right. And a big piece of that was that I finally embraced and leaned into affiliate marketing, network marketing, and being okay with that, right? So before, like, you know, I was worried that if I was an affiliate marketer or a network marketer, right, that I couldn't have my own brand, I couldn't have my own specialty, you know, selling someone else's stuff. And it's not true. Like, in fact, um, my brand is more clear to me today than it ever has been, ever. Like ever. So, you know, I just want to say before we really jump into to the meat of what I'm going to talk about today is that I want to encourage you that like if you're not hitting your income goals, um, it's time to embrace multiple income streams. Right. And I'm going to tell what I'm going to talk about today is like how to make this piece of it, the affiliate marketing piece of it fit into what you're already doing. OK, so I want to give you like a couple of the steps I've been kind of trying to to document what I'm doing. Um, and like how I'm doing it, the strategy, what works, what didn't work, like, you know, okay. So I want to kind of go, go through some of the steps that I took, what I've realized, like when I launched the affiliate side of what I'm doing, um, because I know some of you guys have, you've told me that you want to start doing something similar, right? You want to incorporate some of this into your business and triple your income just the way I've tripled mine. Carolyn says, so happy to watch your journey. Yes. Thank you. I've loved that you're a part of it. Yeah, uh, copywriting, same thing. Finding work, make no work, no money. Yeah, it's it's, it's the struggle is real. Um, okay, so a few weeks ago, um, I, I I hosted a masterclass in this group, and I talked about my entire strategy for creating multiple income streams through ClickFunnels, um, having ClickFunnels as the machine of my business, like all of my different income streams. And so you can go back and watch that. I'm not going to go like rehash that. Um, but it's, it, it's a really good watch to kind of go deeper into what I'm talking about today. So ClickFunnels, as me as an affiliate of ClickFunnels, has become one of my biggest income streams. And I'm an affiliate marketer, and I'm okay with it. It's one of the many hats that I wear, okay? So I sell ClickFunnels, you, you know that. I sell the One Funnel Away Challenge. I sell Russell's courses. I'm also a network marketer. Um, I sell the business opportunity. I sell the products. Like, they aren't mine, but what I've done in this journey is so, so much different than the struggling affiliate marketer or the struggling network marketer or the struggling coach. Okay. So that's what I want to talk about today because when I was, as I've been kind of documenting this and kind of going back and figuring it out, it's not so different than all my other attempts at creating, you know, a business, except, <laughs> except of course that. I'm actually making the money I want and accept, of course, that I actually love it, what I do. I don't dread it anymore. I actually will wake up in the night and can't go back to sleep because I'm thinking about my business. Like it, 
And, and then the, another huge difference is that I actually can step back a little bit and still make money and I can still get paid in December and during the summer, right? Um, I still do my coaching and that's okay too, but I'm embracing this side of it. Okay. So at some point I'm going to, to take everything that I've learned here and, and turn it into a course or something just because I'm so, I'm so excited about it and it's, it's just been so mind blowing. Um, but Hey, Sonia. Um, Hey Mel. Uh, so let's jump in. Okay. So this, if you guys, I don't care what your business is. Um, this is going to, to strike a similar chord. Um, so the, the step number one that I've really learned applies to how to get this affiliate marketing taking off the way it did for me is to, is to pick a niche, 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 however you say it. Right. Have you ever heard the the saying, um, the riches are in the niches. <laughs> uh, so that's the truth. It's the truth and it applies to everything. So like, you know, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for me as an affiliate marketer, right? To, to go out there and promote a cooking course or a parenting, um, product or, you know, something for, for gaming or I don't know, <laughs> uh, whatever weight loss, right? My, my niche and my brand is, based around funnels, right? And specifically, I serve two audiences. Like I serve the entrepreneur who, who has never used or mastered a funnel. Um, those might be network marketers, coaches, service providers, but they're struggling, right? And then secondly, I serve entrepreneurs who have a, have a business that's making money, but they want to add in an additional income stream. So those are the two audiences that I serve in that niche. Okay. So the first reason that you want to um, to niche down is that um, it's algorithms, right? Who has ever heard of algorithms in, in the in the social media and the online world? So, like YouTube has algorithms, Google has you know um, algorithms and how they rank their stuff. So they they're they're looking at your material and the words you're trying to rank for and all that, and they're deciding if if they're going to rank your stuff or they're going to rank somebody else's stuff. Okay. So that's, that's like one like very basic reason that I didn't even under fully understand un until this year. Right. So if I'm, in, I'm talking about funnels one day and then I'm talking about cooking or I'm talking about dating or something like that the second day, like I'm going to confuse the heck out of the algorithms. Algorithms depend on consistency. Okay. So, but even bigger than that is our audience. Okay. So if I'm building this, this audience, everyone here in my group, they are here because they want to learn more about funnels and automations and that. And if I jump into this group and I start talking about how you need to buy this weight loss product from me or how you need to um, buy this parenting course from me or whatever, like it's going to, people are going to be like, well, what the, what the heck, <laughs> right? They're attracted to me because of funnels. So it's the same, you know, for you, like if you've got to pick a niche and then figure out what it is that, what audience you want to serve and stick to it. Okay. If you're selling weight loss, and you're selling um, keto diet or something like that, and then you start talking about click funnels, it doesn't make a lot of sense, right? So there's three kind of niches that do really well online. Um, there's the health, right? That's a big one. I'm sure you've, you've seen that a lot. There's the wealth. That's the one that I've kind of zoned in on, right? Passive income, multiple income streams, and doing things like that through funnels, right? And then the third one is like the love and relationships, okay? So if you pick your general niche first and then you pick a sub niche, right? I mean, there's so many different ways. <laughs> uh, there's so many different ways that you can, you can pick a sub niche, right? So this is, this is not sounding a whole lot different than anything else, right? So, you know, you could choose gender, like, you know, I'm the money girl or, um, dads with a side hustle. Um, or you could choose something like a hobby or interest, right? So there's gamers who want to make money or there's health coaches or there's like people who want to get into investing or there's location, right? Texas, um, Texas gals who want to, to make money, Texas money makers. I don't know, whatever. Um, but there's like a million different sub niches that you can choose that will make your niche more powerful and set you, you know, set you apart. Okay. So for me, like, you know, I'm the funnel lady who can, can show you how to, you know, explode your business using funnels and then incorporate multiple income streams, right. Without working all the extra hours. So the point is here that now you're all three of those niches are very crowded spaces. They're very crowded spaces and this is how you can kind of set yourself apart and um, 
you know, from the person who like millions of other people who are just saying like, I can help you make money online. Okay. So at that point, so now you've picked your niche and you picked your sub niche. Now you can, you can find profitable and I'll talk at the very end. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I look for in, a, in an affiliate program. But now that you know your niche and who you want to serve, you can choose your, the affiliate programs, the things that you want to promote. Okay. So I want to zoom into zoomers, <laughs> baby boomers. See, perfect, Dina. Yes. Uh, okay. So for me, like, in my niche that I've selected, in my sub niche, like I can easily promote my network marketing business. Easily, right? And I can easily promote ClickFunnels. And, you know, I can even easily promote how to become an, a ClickFunnels affiliate because all of those things make a lot of sense for my niche and my sub niche, okay? I know another affiliate marketer who is crushing it at like people who want to start investing, but they've never done it before. So it's like the beginner investing, you know, stock market kind of thing. It's crushing it, right? Okay, so that's the first step is uh, to pick your niche and pick your sub niche. And then out of that, pick what you want to promote. Or if you've already got what you want to promote, then build your niche and sub niche around what you're already, you've already got, right? So that's the first step. Second step after you do that is, and this is, I'm telling you, it's not rocket science here. This is the same things I was doing as a blogger, same things I was doing as a coach. But now this is where it kind of gets a little different because now you want to provide value. Okay. Value. That's the second thing. So you pick a niche, a sub niche, and then you provide value. So you guys have all seen, let me know if you've ever seen a Facebook thread where someone says something like, you know, I want to, um, I want to make money. I want to be able to quit my nine to five or I want to, make money and then you see like 550 people drop their links, <laughs> right? Or like, I wanna, I wanna lose weight and you see 550 people drop their links. And I can guarantee uh, that probably at least 90%, maybe more, of those people who are dropping their links are struggling or they're not hitting their, their goals consistently because nobody wants to click a link, right? People love to buy, but they hate being sold to. And throwing your links around and just hoping people click on them is not a great way to build your business. I just deleted somebody's um, somebody's link out of my group this morning because they just dropped a link about, I don't even know what it was, weight loss. I don't know what it was. It looked like something weight loss. I didn't even read it. But I'm like, that doesn't work. That's not how you build a business, okay? So to be honest, um, that's why affiliate marketers and network marketers, you know, they get a, a bad reputation. Um, and it's also why they struggle. And it's also why, you know, I didn't want to be affiliated with them for a long time, right? And, but it's not just network marketing and affiliate marketing. Um, they get the bad rep a lot of times, but I know plenty of coaches, plenty, plenty of coaches, plenty of bloggers out there who are doing the same thing. They're dropping links. They're doing, um, they're trying to, to get people to come in without providing value. But, okay, so that's, you're going to provide value. And I'm going to talk more about that in a second, but like, we actually have to get our links out there. <laughs> um, how do we make money if we're a network marketer? How do we make money if we're an affiliate marketer? How do we make money if we're a coach? We have to get our links out there because if we don't, we don't make money, right? We make money by people clicking the links. But what we need to do is provide value to show people why they need to click our links and buy from us, okay? So that's kind of the reason that I'm not just another affiliate marketer. That's why affiliate marketing for me has tripled my income. Um, when other people started affiliate marketing at the same time I did and they, their income didn't triple. Okay. Yes. I want you to buy click funnels from me. Yes. I want you to do one funnel away challenge with me. Yes. I want you to join my team. Right. But this is the, the value bomb of today. Like those links, right. That you click on to, to, um, to join me to do whatever, like, there's so, those links are, are part of something that's so much bigger than that. Like my primary focus is not the links. My links become like, it's just the next obvious step. Okay. My links lead to a humongous offer, right? It's not just click funnels. It's not just one funnel away. It's not just joining my team or, you know, I've got a few other things that I promote, but it's something much, much bigger than that. And like, like the main purpose of, of this group and of building my email list and my YouTube channel and my courses and everything else that I do 
yes, I want to make money, but you know, I also want to just help people provide value and teach. And then my affiliate links, they just make a lot of sense. <laughs> they make a lot of sense to the people who resonate with, with what I'm doing and, um, you know, they want to become a part of it or they want to take their business to the, to the next level the same way I did, or they want to automate their business so they can live life or they want to find business leads online without like, you know, so spamming social media or selling to friends and family, or they want additional income streams. Like my links just make sense, right? And they answer the question like, why join me? Why become my affiliate? Why join the One Funnel Away Challenge with me instead of going to clickfunnels.com, right? Because I'm not just promoting someone else's thing. And that's the huge, huge difference. Yes, I'm an affiliate marketer, but I'm not just promoting someone else's thing. I'm promoting my thing and someone else's thing just happens to be a part of it. Like, does that make sense? Like I'm promoting my offer and someone else's product or service is just a part of it, like a tiny part of it. And that secret right there, that value bomb is how I've tripled my business, utilizing affiliate marketing, utilizing network marketing, because I'm approaching it that way. I'm promoting my offer and my value and the affiliate links, they're not the main focus. Does that make sense? Hello from Florida. Faye says, so true, money will not be an issue when you have a great value to offer. And that's the truth of it. That is how affiliate marketing has tripled my business. And I, I had that light bulb moment the first time I was going through the One Funnel Away Challenge, what, three months ago, February? It was like the middle, end of February. And since then, like, this is why I believe that everyone can and everyone should include some type of affiliate marketing into your business because it can simply be a part of what you're already doing, <laughs> right? I'm still a business coach. I'm still a business coach, but I'm, I've always been focused on, you know, funnels and automation, but now I can monetize my clients in multiple ways. Like I'm still building a network marketing team, right? That's not changing, but most of my team also wants click funnels and they also want these automations because they see what it's how what it's done for me. So now I can monetize the same person more than one time and teach them how to do the same thing, right? So does that make sense? Hey Hey Kaylee. How does one provide value content when you're not an expert yet? You don't have to be an expert yet. I think Carolyn said it earlier. Carolyn has been a part of my life, my business world for a long, for a long time. How many, I don't know if, um, Carolyn, if you're still on, how long have we been together? She just, she just said, I love being a part of your journey. People like to be a part of a story. That's why I am always telling my story, how I was just struggling a few months ago and I'm no longer struggling. And you guys are my, you're showing up here and you're, you're, you're still buying from me. You're, you're clicking my links, you're everything because not because I'm an expert, it's because you identify with what I'm doing. Uh, so don't let that hold you up. Don't let that hold you up. Okay, so um, I'm gonna wrap it up here soon, but, I, but I'm gonna talk about you know why I chose a couple, like how I look at affiliate marketing, but um, I, you know, I just wanted to make that really, really clear that an affiliate marketer is one of the hats that I wear now and I'm totally okay with that. I'm totally okay with being an affiliate marketer. I'm totally okay with being a network marketer, but it's because it's a part of something so much bigger than that. So that's like the main, um, the main takeaway that I wanted you, you guys to get. But what you promote is also important, okay? Um, there's a reason that I promote ClickFunnels um, and not like lead pages or Builderall, right? There's a, a reason that I chose my network, my network marketing company and over others. Um, so in, and this is how, I, you know, you, you, because you go out and I don't care how much value, how much, um, passion you have around it, you need to make money too, right? If so, if you're promoting something that you're making, um, you know, a few dollars or $50, you're having to hustle your butt off a lot more, right? So in, from what I've learned, like I'm only going to promote two types of offers. Okay. It's either got to be high ticket 
So I'm making like one, it's one time income, but it's a lot, right? But even more importantly, what I'm really after these days is recurring income, recurring income. Layla says we're, we're experts just by being a few steps ahead. Yes. Carolyn, we connected when we were blogging. See, yes, see, <laughs> so funny. Um, so when I'm looking at what is, now I've got my niche, I've got my sub niche, right? And I'm providing value, but obviously I want to make money. I want you guys to make money. So uh, we have to pick something that is going to make, make that happen, right? So high ticket, or even more importantly, in my opinion, is recurring income, okay? Um, so for both categories, both of those categories, they have to be something you use. And they have to be something you believe in. Um, I really believe that. I, I, I feel like you do have, like, I'm not going to buy some click funnels from someone who doesn't use click funnels, right? That's, that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, why don't you believe in it enough to use it, right? Um, I'm not going to, to um, buy a course from somebody who's who, on social media who's building, uh, who's not using social media, right? So it has to, you have to use it, you have to believe in it. Um, and they have to, like, whatever I'm promoting, has to get my my uh, clients, my customers, my business partners better results than if they didn't have it. That's a non-negotiable, okay? It has to be something that I'm using, that I believe in, and I believe will get my affiliates better results. And it has to make sense, okay? It has to be the next obvious step, okay? So I'm not going to sell them funnels one day and then weight loss the next day and then, um, I don't know, relationships the next day, right? So I'm selling click funnels to people because I'm invested in their success, right? I want them to do better because then I do better, okay? I make money when they make money, right? And I'm building relationships with these people and they become my friends and I don't want to sell something to my friends that's not gonna get them results, okay? I don't wanna promote something that I don't believe to the bottom of my heart will work for them, okay? And on the other side of it, like I've, we, we all, we build our brands, right? I've spent like, you know, the blood, sweat, and tears building my brand. And I'm not going to dilute it with something just to make a quick buck, okay? But I'm also not going to pr promote something that isn't lucrative to me because my time is valuable, right? So you have to start thinking about what it is that you want to promote. You have to start looking at what, you know, is in it for you as, as well as your clients before you can just like start picking stuff, right? You don't want to just go out I mean, there's a million different things I could promote in my niche, but I wanted to find something that has a good, you know, payment plan, right? Has a good um, reputation, has a good service, right? I'm not going to, I'm not going to just go find the thing that has, that makes me the most money, but at the same time, it has to make me money, <laughs> right? So you have to start thinking of those things before you, you know, you choose what you want to be an affiliate of, okay? So it has to make sense for your business, Okay. Um, it has to make sense for the niche and the sub niche and it has to get them value and it has to make you money and high ticket or um, recurring revenue. Those are the two, the two big ones. And that's why I believe in network marketing. That's why I believe in something like ClickFunnels where, you know, you set people up for success that you're going to use it long term. I'm going to get paychecks coming in. Okay. So that's kind of, and it makes a lot of sense for what I'm doing, right? So the takeaways from today um, is everyone, everyone can build in affiliate marketing into their business, I believe. Or you can make it your primary business. There's people out there crushing it doing this full time, right? Actually, affiliate marketing is my, my biggest income stream. I still do coaching. I still have my own courses that I sell, but now I take that coaching and I take those courses and I build in my affiliate links where they make sense and I'm monetizing like crazy. Okay. So first is pick a niche and then a sub niche, right? Provide value and create an offer around what you're promoting. Okay. Get your mind away from saying like click fun, look at this offer that click funnels has, or, you know, whatever it is that you're promoting, like, look at this amazing thing. No, it's look at my amazing thing. And click funnels happens to be a piece of it, right? Click funnels happens to, to be the thing that can accelerate your results quicker uh, when you use it. It's a tool that makes a lot of sense as part of what I'm selling and part of my offer. Okay. So that's the second thing. And then the third is to pick the right affiliate products, services, whatever to promote, like both for you and your audience. And hey, Ben. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Mackenzie. Uh, so I'm just wrapping up, but that, 
that in a nutshell is how I, I've utilized affiliate marketing to triple my income this year, like in the past, you know, three months or so. Um, it's been, it's been insane. And it all started with the one funnel away challenge, right? Which happens to be uh, something that I promote. I promote it because it has been insane value for me and for the, 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 my affiliates that come through with me. So just, I know we have a ton of new people in the group. I just wanted to recap really quick what the One Funnel Away Challenge is and how you can get involved in it and be a part of our VIP group. We just have a few spots open. Uh, I did cap it at 50 because I really want to, to be able to serve you guys and make sure that you guys are successful. So the One Funnel Away Challenge starts a week from today. I'm super psyched. If you're in the One Funnel Away Challenge with me, drop some fire in the comments. Um, let me know how excited you are for it. If you've been through the One Funnel Away with me, uh, we just wrapped up a week, two week or so ago, week, two weeks ago. Let Drop us some fire in the comments and let us know how much you loved it because it's the best $100 investment that you can make in your business, that I can promise you. And what I've done with my business this year that has exploded it and uh, only going uphill, it started in the One Funnel Away Challenge. So um, I just wanted to, Layla will probably, oh, yeah, Layla just did, Layla dropped um, the link if you want to join us and be a part of this amazing movement and start to incorporate some of this other stuff into your business uh, and have your business triple as well, then you definitely want to get a part of it. Um, only See, Ben, Rosie, yes, yes, I'm super, super excited. Dina, Rachel's in there, uh, Carolyn's in there, Kayla's in there. So phase in there. So you guys, um, I hope that that was, was helpful for you just to kind of hear like a different twist on uh, affiliate marketing and how it can be, how it can complement and integrate into what you're already doing into pretty much any business model. I don't, I've never heard of something or never thought of something that you couldn't incorporate affiliate marketing into it as an additional income stream at one that just makes a lot of sense is lucrative to you monetizing the same people more than one time like it's been it's been amazing i'm gonna write a book about it <laughs> uh so that's what i wanted to show up and, and talk to you guys today about um and let you know guys know that the one funnel away challenge is quickly approaching a week from monday so that means that a month from now or a month maybe six weeks from now, you could have this in your business because it's a 30 day challenge starts on Monday. So yeah, uh, this could be you talking to someone um, and selling your offers and tripling your business uh, in a, a couple of months. I'm not kidding. That's how quick it happened for me. Uh, so you guys have an amazing day, amazing rest of your week and make sure you drop your questions. If you got some questions relating to affiliate marketing, um, how you can incorporate it into your business, make sure you drop them and I'll be coming back and checking the comments and see what questions you guys have. Dina says, very helpful. Thank you. Thank you, Dina, for joining live. I can't wait to see what you do with your business. Uh, so you guys, um, and, the, oh, and the other thing is to go back, if you haven't, for all the new, new people in the group, if you haven't watched my masterclass and you're like, what is ClickFunnels? What is she talking about? Go back and watch as tagged as an announcement in the group a couple of weeks ago. I did an entire course on the strategy I'm using to monetize ClickFunnels in five different ways. So uh, definitely go check that out. Um, it's definitely been uh, eye-opening for some people. Uh, so you guys have an amazing day and I will talk to you soon. Bye, Faye. Thank <laughs> you.